sky was filled with strange, glowing ships as the alien invasion began. People all over the world watched in shock and fear as the massive vessels descended upon cities, unleashing destruction and chaos. The aliens, known as the Zorans, were a technologically advanced civilization from a distant planet. They had been watching Earth for decades, studying the humans and their societies. They had concluded that Earth would make a valuable addition to their empire. The Zorans wasted no time in their conquest, using their superior weapons and technology to quickly gain the upper hand. The human military was no match for the alien invaders, and soon governments and militaries around the world were falling. As the months passed, the Zorans began to implement their plans for Earth, and began to extract resources and enslave the human population. But the humans were not so easily defeated. A resistance movement began to form, made up of soldiers, scientists, and everyday citizens who refused to accept the Zorans' rule. They began to launch guerrilla attacks on the alien bases and supply lines, working to sabotage their operations and weaken their grip on the planet. The war between the humans and the Zorans raged on for years, but gradually, the resistance gained the upper hand. With the help of advanced technology and weapons provided by a group of human scientists, who had managed to communicate with another alien civilization. Finally, Greetings. This is a small transmission of the local galactic government, part of the wider commonwealth of 13 galactic clusters. You can refer to us in one word. Andromedians. You may have heard of us from other sources, but allow us to establish one critical fact. During a galactic uprising that brought great destruction in one third of this galaxy, certain groups of our commonwealth joined forces with the Rebel Alliance. This alliance is led by the Draconian species, governed by 24 plus 3 council members under a high commander. This ruler goes by many names, most of which are recorded in your planet's history. Point being is that the rebel Andromedians have been acting as intermediaries between the Draconian Alliance and Earth governments, which they have come to control. Their goal is the enslavement of your planet, the extraction of its resources and the complete extermination of all life. Then the Draconian fleet of 118 war planets, including its two flagships, will depart for a critical nerve node of the universal organism. We cannot, and will not allow this to happen. Your enslavement has been orchestrated by an artificial race, that many of you consider native to your planet. It is not. During your current state, you cannot enter a direct conflict with them. This is our duty. But what you can do is protect yourselves and survive until our arrival. Operative warning is, death rises in the east, but the west has been infiltrated by eastern agents, on all levels. Deal with those agents as we deal with the real threat. We have gathered an armada of 960 war planets in multiple dimensions, 340 of which are visible to you. We have been situated around and beyond the trajectory range of Saturn. Any species activity on the inside planets is considered hostile to you. We do not use channel. We do not send messages to psychics. We only transmit to a strict medium of neutrino beams. The resistance was able to push the Zorans off of Earth reclaiming the planet for humanity. But the cost of victory was high. The Earth was left scarred and changed forever. And the humans were left with a new understanding of the dangers that lurked in the universe. Thank you for watching. Please follow and subscribe for more.